everyone, this is a quick video for ANSYS Framework Bench Design Modeler tutorial, and today we will look at the turbulent flow in a three-dimensional pipe. First, we open the ANSYS file of the laminar flow we created in the last video. Double click. And I will save it as and it's fluent turbulent. The same. We left click the fluent the fluent icon and uh, drag it and uh, move it near to the geometry and the mesh cell. And uh, when the these two cells appear right and uh, then drop it. and change the name as Turbulent. Here we can just share the properties of the geometry and the mesh part in the laminar flow in our Turbulent model. So we can just start our model in the setup. Double click Setup cell. Ch choose the double precision and click OK. Check the mesh quality. And uh, in the model, we use the viscosity model, but uh, we use the K epsilon model and uh, change the near wall treatment as the enhanced wall treatment. Leave other values as default values. Then click OK. Then click material and uh, create. We will use water in our modeling here, so we just left click the front database and uh, choose the water liquid. We will find the properties of the water liquid here, so just click copy, close, and uh, just click close. We will find that in the materials there is the water and water liquid appears. So. We just make sure that in the cell zone conditions, the material name is water and liquid. Then click OK. In the boundary condition, the inlet boundary is mass flow inlet, and the mass flow rate is 67 kg per second, and the direction is Z axis. So the value here, just to make, to make sure the renal number using the turbulent model here is about 8,500. Then click OK. The outlet is pressure, and the wall is stationary, no slip wall. Solution method. The pressure, we just use the standard and the turbulent kinetic energy and turbulent dissipation rate we both use the second order upwind. And the monitors, we just change this as residues as 1e minus 5. 1e minus 5. Then click OK. Through so initialization, still use the standard initialization. Compute from the inlet and the initialize. So in the wrong calculation, number iter iteration we still set as 1000 and calculate. Well, after about 300 steps, the calculation is completed. Click OK, and uh, let's check the result. Click the plus, select the XY plot, click Setup, 
and uh, unselect the position x axis and uh, change the axis function as velocity the x axis function as mesh the radial coordinate and uh, select the outer surface plot well we'll find the velocity profile in the outer surface and we will find steep slope here in the velocity profile yeah that's okay close it and uh, close the front solver okay then double click result cell Well, select wall, double click it, and uh, change the molding's color as a variable, and the variable as pressure, apply. We will find the pressure contour on the wall surface. Then unselect it, and uh, create a plan, and the plan is XZ, uh, ZX plan, Y equals zero, color, is variable and the variable is velocity. Check it. Yeah, this is the velocity counter in the XZ plane when y equals zero. And uh, we can just change the variable as pressure and uh, check it. Well, and select the plane and uh, just select the streamline and start from the inlet the color the mode is variable and the variable is velocity apply well, we can just animate this with the animation it is slow start Well, then we can just stop it and close it. And also, we can just unselect this one and uh, select Contour. And the location, we can just try to see the outlet in the outlet surface and uh, try to see the velocity distribution, apply. Click that axis. If we still remember the velocity contour in the element flow, we'll find this totally different. Then close it. And uh, we have finished the turbulent modeling with the fl and this front. Thank you very much.